You're back. That means you want to know how to move around in Maya. So let's do that. In Maya, you need a three button mouse to be able to navigate properly. That means that you have a clickable left, right and middle mouse button. You're also going to need a keyboard since all the camera controls in Maya require you to press Alt on the keyboard. The first one we're going to do then, make sure you've got your mouse in the viewport. Hold Alt on your keyboard and we're going to left click. This rotates the camera, tumbles the camera around. So the object is not moving, you're actually moving the camera around the object. So we can see that that allows us to rotate at the same distance and because we're currently just focused on the center of the grid, it takes us just around it. So that's Alt and left click. If you want to zoom in and out, you can do that with Alt and right click and drag. So I'm going left and right, you can see that's moving the camera in and out. So that's physically moving the position of the camera closer and further away to that plane that we created. The final one is Alt and the middle mouse button and this will move side to side. So this is called panning, I believe. Pan side to side and up and down is tracking, I think. So those are your three main ways of moving around in Maya. So you've got Alt and left click, Alt and middle click, Alt and right click. If you're lazy, which most of my students are, um, you can also scroll in and out with your middle mouse if you've got one, a scroll wheel. But you can see that does it at kind of fixed increments, which can be useful. Uh, but it's not as smooth as doing alt and right mouse button, which is much smoother. So smooth. When you are new to moving around in 3D space, it's entirely possible that you'll zoom out too far, move stuff off to the side and be all like, oh my God, I've lost all my stuff. Where's my stuff? The way that we get it back is by making sure you've got it selected. You can see, I, see I've got it selected because floors here. And then you press F, which means frame selected. And then that's kind of how you do it. So that will make sure that it centers whatever you want it. And if you, you're getting kind of out of control with your camera, so let's say you do this and you're just trying to move around, you're like, oh my Christ, why can't I focus on my plate? It's all over the place. Then just press F and then when you do that, it stays centered. What you can also do, so let's say we lose ourselves again. Let's just, oh no, I've lost my work. Where can it be? And we don't have it selected. Well, first of all, F still works because it will just show you what you've got in your scene or it'll show you the grid, one or the other. Or you can also press A, which will frame all, so everything in your scene. So F and A are really good in case you get lost. So that is an introduction to moving around in 3D space. My advice now is to spend a minute or two just moving around and getting used to it because it can get really frustrating if you keep pressing the wrong button um, and ending up where you don't want to be. So before moving on to the next step where we're gonna create the walls, make sure you're confident with moving around because I won't be covering it again, I'm gonna leave that to you now. And then once you're confident, we'll go and make some more stuff. So I will see you in step six where we're gonna make some walls for our room. See you there. Game Dev Academy is graciously supported by these absolute legends. If you'd like to offer your support, then check out our Patreon page using the link in the description below.